I'm going to share how you can post your virtual classroom to your Google Classroom. Here is an example class that I have. And one option to post your virtual classroom is to post it in the stream. The one thing about posting your virtual classroom is that sometimes the stream gets really busy with other things. So, and then it keeps getting pushed down after every um, thing that's posted. So what you could do is you can, so right here in the snowman, you can click on the snowman or the three dots and you can move it to the top. But you would have to do that to all of your classes all the time. Another option to keep your stream area of your Google Classroom organized is to go up here to the settings. And in the settings, if you scroll down to stream, so I have it so students can only comment on the stream, they cannot post. So you may want to check that and make sure that that is set the way you prefer. And then right now, classroom, classwork on the stream, I have it set so there's a condensed notification. But what I'm going to do to keep the stream nice and neat is I'm going to hide notifications. And then I'm going to save and I'll show you how that looks. Now, when we go to the stream, we don't have all of those other posts that show um, every assignment, every piece of material that, that you put in your classroom that is removed. Another way is to add it to your classwork section. So here's my classwork section. I have it organized by topics. So these are called topics. I'm going to add my virtual classroom to my class resources and I'm going to add it as material. Now, when you add something as material, there's no due date. I'm going to title it virtual classroom. A short description. And then I'm going to add it. And I'm just going to pull right from my Google Drive. And Google will set the access settings. They will set that all for you. So I'm just going to search. I know it's called Miss Hoffman. And there it is. There's my virtual office. It's in there. Now I'm going to pick two classes for it to be posted. It's going to go to all students in those two classes. And then I'm going to put it under class resources. And then I'm going to post. So here's what that looks like. So you can tell it's material by the little icon and it's virtual classroom. So all my class resources, those are all materials. So now if I go to my example class as a student, so I can tell up here, I am, I am a Jefferson student and I can see the stream. That's the first thing I see when I click on my classroom. Let's, let's test and make sure that I cannot edit. So I'm going to click on that. And you can tell right away that I have view only access. And there's my Google Classroom. The links still work. So I can click on Rufus and it will take me to a video of Rufus. Um, it does show the slide deck. There's no way to get around that, but they cannot change it. The one that's in Classworks, I can click on my virtual classroom, click, and it will show that I have view only access, but I can still click on links and get to the information in the virtual classroom. Two ways that you can post your virtual classroom. You can post it in the stream or you can post it as material in your uh, classwork section.